I want to talk about your newest book, um, The Guardians. We've already have been talking about it a little bit. Mm. People who are in mostly in, in a terrible situation in death row, waiting for the verdict to happen. That's the story of your book. Also there, there's a little trailer that explains sort of the story. Let's have a look at that. Are you in contact with people on death row? Yes, inmates? yes. Um, I'm pen pals with uh, six innocent men in prison. I have been for a long time. Two in Oklahoma, uh, two in Texas, one in Virginia, one in Mississippi. Uh, I know their cases very well. You're absolutely sure all of those six are innocent? I don't think you're absolutely sure until, and if you can get DNA testing. DNA has, has changed the whole game mm -hmm. because it's clear biological proof that you can know with a certainty. Well, most cases are not DNA cases. Most murders, you, you shoot somebody in the head with a gun, there's no DNA unless you uh, inadvertently leave something behind, mm -hmm. a blood sample or something. Uh, most cases are not DNA. And so they're much harder to... Um, to solve. However, if you look at so many of these cases as we do, you look at the trial and you look at the lack of evidence, you look at the, uh, like the senator mentioned, the, the bad defense lawyering, the crooked prosecutors, the lying cops, the, the, just the, the, the bad testimony, the, all these factors go into a wrongful conviction. Yeah. And we study them all the time. And we become convinced that this person, first of all, did not, let's, let's forget the issue of innocence. This person did not receive a fair trial. So we start with that and then we keep digging and digging and we try to convince a judge and it's a long, hard process. Your book is based, I'm not gonna tell what the plot is, but your book is based, the main character is Cullen Post, a minister and a lawyer. Mm. And he travels the country and visits people like you are mm. uh, riding with and tries to get them to get a new court date, right. uh, basically. Um, the book is based on a, on a real person, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Who is the person and, and why are you inspired by him? Uh, I met him 20 years ago. His name is James McCloskey. And about 45 years ago, he was a, uh, a ministerial student at Princeton. Mm -hmm. And he got involved with a prison ministry. So he was inside the prison. And he met a young man who, who kept maintaining his innocence. And so James became curious, and he did a bit of investigating, and a bit more, and a bit more, and, a bit more, and found out a lot of interesting stuff. Short story, fast forward, uh, two years later, he walked the guy out of prison mm -hmm. as an innocent man. And he said, at that, at that moment, he said, uh, God said, this is your calling. This is what you're gonna do for the rest of your life. And he did. And for 45 years, he sort of roamed the country like our hero here, taking a few cases at a time. Mm -hmm. uh, once, he became, once he became convinced that the person was innocent, and he made a couple of mistakes, uh, but he would take the case, investigate, talk to witnesses, build a case, and then go hire some lawyer to come in for free, file an appeal, and keep it going. And uh, after 45 years, he has now exonerated 63, uh, 60, 62 men and one woman. That's unbelievable. Yeah, there's, there's actually a couple. There's a woman who was wrongfully convicted in Florida, one of his clients, and she married a man who was wrongfully convicted in Illinois. So you have both two of them are wrongfully convicted and they're happily married. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we called him, Jim McCloskey, okay. and uh, told him that you were here tonight and he has this message for oh, you. Oh, wonderful. He's a wonderful guy.
My name is Jim McCloskey, and I'm speaking to you from my home in Princeton, New Jersey. I'm still pinching myself that the central character and his organization, Guardian Ministries, in John's new bestseller, The Guardians, were tailored after the work that I and my colleagues at Centurion Ministries do. This book is evidence that John really knows what he's talking about. It takes the reader deep into the world of the wrongly convicted and the challenges that confront those of us who work to exonerate the innocent. Besides being a world famous and prolific novelist, more importantly, John is one of the most decent human beings you'd ever want to meet. He truly lives out to all that know him, the scriptural admonition as set forth by the great prophet Micah, and that is to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Thank you, John, for all that you do in working on behalf of the innocent in prison. And also, John, thank you for being just the way you are. There you go. <laughs> Wow, didn't know that was coming. <laughs> Special? Uh, yeah, but what's, uh, I'll get him back. <laughs> <laughs>